Hey guys, a lot of you guys have been saying that, uh, oh, a lot of you guys have been liking my Toka cosplay photos on Instagram, and I put a poll up in my story asking uh, if I should do a Toga makeup tutorial, and a lot of you guys said yes, that you'd want that, so I provide. <laughs> I love this little, like, syringe pen from the dollar store. I love it. I feel like it just matches Toga so well. Um, so yeah, I'm going to, let's just let's jump into the tutorial then. <laughs> So basically, I have already got my foundation on and powder, that's it, I didn't do any contouring or highlighting, which I will do in this video, I just wasn't feeling the completely naked face today. Um, if you'd like to know the stuff I did use for my face, um, I start off with the Benefit Professional Primer and I use it in my T zone and then everywhere else on my face, instead of a primer, I use a Neutrogena oil-free moisture moisturizer. Um, I just I like it a little bit better than primer in my areas that I don't need it. Um, I currently am trying out the Kat Von D found locket foundation. Um, not sure how much I like it. I'm gonna try something else next. And uh, to lock everything in, I've been using the Laura Mercier. Uh, smooth finish foundation powder so that's what I have been using for those of you who want to know um, okay so the next step that I'm going to do uh, will be contouring and highlighting um, which I use my Tartius Pro Glow kit to highlight and contour and for contouring, I go into the shade Sculpt, and I just use this Morphe brush. Okay, so I just move it into the hollows of my cheek in a sort of semicircle, and that is just to sort of slim down my face just just a tiny tiny bit obviously uh, you can do more dramatic contouring if that's what suits you to each their own <laughs> especially with contouring I feel like so many people contour so many different ways this is just how I do try and blend it in because I try and make the contour look as natural as possible. Next I just contour my chin a little bit. Um, I'm not going to mess with my nose right now because I feel like sometimes my contour on that is amazing and other times <laughs> other times it's just a mess. Okay so next I'm just gonna go in and highlight and I'm going to use the shade strobe and stunner in the Tartius Pro Glow kit and I just kind of mix the two together. It's just natural enough that I can wear it with my natural makeup to school which I use it I use this little uh, glow kit every day for school because it's mandatory to wear makeup at my school. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit on the cupid's bow. My blush fell somewhere. Okay, we're gonna just use some eyeshadow then. One in and you don't have blush, we go in with eyeshadow. Okay. Um I love to have a strong blush with anime characters. Uh well girls. Especially the like love crazy ones. So I like to go in just with like a little bit of setting spray and just to sort of walk everything in before we move in, move on to the eyes. Oh, 
before I go into the eyes, I'll do my eyebrows. I completely forgot. Don't know how I did. Okay, so I go into um, still my Tartius Pro Glow, which I love this. I use it like every day. Um, and I go into the shade Shade, which I guess is supposed to be a cream contour, but I use it for my eyebrows. Don't come for me, it's just what I do. Um, and for anime characters, I try and make it look drawn on. Sorta. Of. Okay, my eyebrows are not cooperating. That's fine because this is like a banged wig so it will hide most of my eyebrows so I'm just I'm not going to spend too much time there. Okay, so now we're going to go into my personal favorite part of uh, any makeup routine which is of course the eyes and I've been using the, I don't know how to, I don't know what the brand name is, I can pronounce it, Huda Huda, Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty. Uh, rose gold palette remastered and I love this palette I love 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 this palette um okay so the first color that I'm going to use today will be demure or demure I'm not I don't know how to pronounce these um I haven't heard of that word before so but basically we're gonna start that off Towards the crease area and that's gonna be just sort of like our starting color and it's gonna be the most chill color and we're just gonna blend it out okay so next we're gonna go in with a sort of more flat blunda flat brush and we're gonna go into doll face which is a sort of like hot pink color in the palette and we're gonna go into And lastly, I'm going to use this little brush here, and I'm going to go into Man Eater, which is this color, sort of like a red, cherry red. Okay, um, then we're just going to go in with Fling, sort of like a glittery shade, and we're just going to put it on our lid. I know it doesn't have a lot of pigments, so sometimes I sort of uh, spray my brush with a little bit of setting powder and that got on my mirror of course it did um i'm gonna go back into fling i like to put always in my inner corners why does it hate me all right this is what okay my inner corners I like to mix bubbly and moon dust together and then I just stick that there in my inner corner and I sometimes even stick this at the top of my nose 
also put it on under my brow. Okay. So now that our eyeshadow is done, when I'm doing cosplays, especially uh, kind of crazy characters or like, you know villains, things like that, I'll go in for a more um, dramatic wing, which is what I like to do for my toga cosplay. And then I fill underneath with a eyeliner pencil, I fill in my waterline. So that's what we're going to do now. Uh, so for, I use a wet eyeliner for the dramatic wing, which right now I just have Sephora liquid liner. I know it's not the best, but that's what I've got right now. I'm just gonna go in and create a dramatic line. Okay, so now that we have our dramatic wings done, we're just gonna go in with an eyeliner pencil. I literally just have a wet and wild eyeliner pencil because I don't usually use them, but I've been using them a little bit more lately. And this is literally just, I got this as a present, I think, for one of my birthdays from uh, Taylor slash out of fangirl and cosplayer. And so I've been using this a lot more lately because I found it. It was like lost in my makeup kit. My makeup kit is full of crazy things. Then next, I'm gonna go in with the Sephora Length Plus Volume Lash Craft Mascara. And I'm just gonna apply that to our eyelashes. So I picked these up from Sephora. They're the Velour silk lashes in fluff and wispy and i just saw these in the checkout and i was like these look really anime like uh okay so basically i just use my where is it there it is uh my duo lash glue yeah i used to glue them on straight after putting the glue it was not a fun time and it hurts if the glue gets in your eye so Lastly is lipstick. So I got this for my birthday and it's called Bite. I don't know what the shade is, of color is. Um, I don't know. I just I got it for my birthday as a Sephora reward. So Okay. So then next, I just go over it with some lip gloss, and it kind of blends the color into the rest of my lips without giving it too much of that darkness. And that is it for the Hoka makeup. And so I'm gonna go put on a wig, and we're gonna see how it looks with the wig on and everything. So I'll be right back. Okie doke, I am back in wig and cosplay is done and that's my toga. Um, well, I'm not wearing the outfit, I'm actually wearing a shirt that says Yandere, which I feel is kind of fitting right now. Um, but yeah, so this is my toga cosplay, the wig hates me, you know. Um, but yeah, this is the makeup. Um, yeah, so that's, that comes to the end of this tutorial. So if you liked the way that it turned out, please give me a thumbs up if it was helpful to you because you wanted to cosplay toga. Give this a thumbs up or subscribe or whatever. <laughs> uh, comment. Comments are great. I love hearing feedback from you guys. Um, no, for sure. Um, 